So you're walking down Houston Street on the border of the West Village and you see this blue townhouse here, this industrial blue townhouse. Would you ever guess that this townhouse is worth 15 million dollars. Well, in today's episode, we are going to show you one of the most deceiving industrial townhouses in all of New York City. This episode is sponsored by Lore Coffee, but more on that later. Let's head on inside. So the first thing you're probably thinking is, Eric, you know, where's the security? You're going right from the sidewalk into this $15 million townhouse. Well, this is like the vestibule before, so you have only package delivery here. This is sealed off, cameras everywhere, and you need a separate code to actually enter the house. Long hallway leading into the house. This is actually a travertine waterfall, which is currently not on at the moment, but how cool is that? Leading down the hall, but before we check out the house, I wanna show you this. So here's that two car garage. Now in New York City, parking spaces, some spots cost anywhere from half a million to a million dollars for parking. Here you have two parking spots in your house, so this is perfect for anyone who values their privacy, celebrity, high profile businessmen, just to have a garage like right from the streets into your house in New York, that's super rare. You also have two powder rooms right off your garage. Just because the agent described it as a party home as you'll see in a second. So back onto this hallway, you have your elevator here and then the space opens up to your entertainment floor. So you have a little wet bar here. Now this is a carriage house that was originally built in 1899. And this carriage house is 25 feet wide. They're typically around 20. So you've got an extra five feet of width. And as far as length, it is 100 feet long. Open concept, everything. Dining room here, white oak on the floor, custom millwork. You've got a fireplace and then check this out. These are 18 foot high ceilings here with this back oversized glass window and skylight. So not only do you have a garage, you have a backyard oasis. Look at this. But you got a lot of nice shade back here. Bamboo giving it that nice zen aesthetic some seats, huge windows. I mean, for perspective, look how big this window is. And there's, what is it, three more? Three more if we head on up. Now, even if you don't have $15 million, you can still make every single day feel exceptional in your own home with the sponsor of this week's episode, Lore Barista System. Now for me, coffee is more than just my morning routine. It's the aroma that's awakening my senses and flavor that's firing up my mind. And with Lore Barista System, every cup is a spectacle and it helps me feel like my inspired self every single day, fueling my passions in life. The Lore Barista System is a single serve coffee and espresso machine with a sophisticated 360 design featuring a sleek matte finish with premium metal and gold detailing that is stylish and sophisticated. The Lore Barista System delivers 19 bars of high pressure, which extracts that rich flavor from the coffee beans, creating full-bodied, cafe-quality coffee with a silky, perfect crema. It allows you to make a range of coffee and espresso sizes. And thanks to that automatic capsule recognition technology, the Lore Barista system automatically adapts the volume of your coffee or espresso according to your selected size. Every single thing about this machine is considered and intentional with that compelling and rich French heritage. Check out the link below to get your own and thanks again to Lore Coffee for sponsoring this video. Now let's check out the rest of that $15 million apartment. As far as square footage, we're looking at just over 7,000 square feet. And fun fact, this was a notable party spot for people like John Lennon and Elton John back in the day. Like that's pretty rare. Now the second floor is the entertaining floor. So if we're gonna head off to the right here, this is the kitchen and just check out this space. Dual Sub-Zero wine, dual commercial Sub-Zero freezer fridge combo, commercial vent right here. I mean, this is a proper chef's kitchen. Island front and center, white oak on the cabinets. And I really like how you have the transom windows above here, letting in that sunlight. We are facing south, so we will have light the entire year, even those winter months in New York City. You got your dining room here with seating for eight. Cool light fixture above head. So leaving the kitchen dining room, you even have these oversized doors to separate the space if you wanted. This carriage house does have an elevator, which we're gonna wait for a little bit to head in there. Your stairwell to the left, and this is your reading nook with those 13 foot ceilings with the skylights coming down. I love the skylights. That is the, the thing about this home, I mean, there's many things, but just the fact that you have so much light uh, and it's so 
quiet compared to Houston. Like Houston Street's pretty busy, but you would not know in this apartment. It's so serene. And you even have a terrace off of your reading room with all these vines draping down. Even over here, you can see those old bricks of the West Village. Uh, just such a cool place. I mean, to have this much outdoor space, because you have the garden below this one, and then a little more, you even have a nice little nook here, which could be like a little coffee area, whatever you want. You could even put a hot tub back here, jacuzzi. Lots can be done here. I mean, it, as is, it's pretty sweet, but your imagination can run wild. I mean, just check that out. Like, the vines going off the back of this property. Character, it's got character. The energy in here is just so, so peaceful. Yeah, well, I'm just taking it in, but let's continue on. Up here on floor number three, we have the bedrooms. So another skylight in the front of the townhouse. This is a little wet bar, mini kitchen area. And then you have mirrored guest bedrooms, which are currently empty. Transom windows, views of house and street. Again, facing south, all that sunlight. And we'll just get a peek in another one here. Same thing mirrored, and I'll actually show you the bathroom. Actually, no, I'm, there's no bathroom in this one, just a walk-in closet. This is my first time seeing the apartment, so you're getting like a live look at this house tour. Oh, so there is a bathroom off of here. Like, I guess a common bathroom with full shower. Man, what a unique space. And back into the main area, again, you have your elevator off to my left, and this is, whoa. This is a wow, this is a whoa. So you're stepping up six stairs here to the primary bedroom, which has yet again another skylight with the baby blues, the greens of those trees in the backyard. I mean, this is, this is a, a New York bedroom if I've ever seen. And then you have your ensuite primary bathroom with another skylight in the bathroom, deep set soaking tub, glass shower here, dual vanity this bedroom you don't even need a TV in this place it's just so peaceful this elevator is only for two people so this is how you get the furniture up could renovate this townhouse and turn it from a 15 million dollar townhouse to a 20 25 million dollar townhouse and then this townhouse has a third outdoor space on the rooftop which you can totally renovate you could put a jacuzzi up here we've got the views to the south so this rooftop has sun the entire day now the big question do you think that this townhouse is worth 15 million dollars comment down below what you think I hope you enjoyed this episode, and with that, I will see you in the next video. And thanks again to Lore Coffee for sponsoring this video.